Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm out for my first run in the Takumi Sen 8. Just on my warm up. So I'm going to do a quick 2k warm up, a 5k blast, and a quick 2k cool down. Put them through the paces. Uh, they already feel quite light, well, very light and quite, quite responsive. So I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, get on with the run. I'll check in after the 5k effort, and give my initial thoughts on the Takumi Sen 8. So yeah, 2k warm up, 2k cool down with a solid 5k, 5K blast in between. And uh, this is a fast shoe. Uh, going off the splits, I think I've got a six second PB and I'm nowhere near 5k fitness at the minute. So yeah, I think I've got for like a 1929, 1928, something around there, which is actually a six, seven second uh, 5k PB. Uh, I didn't really push that hard. Obviously I, I was working, but only on the last two did I really have to start working a little bit. And that's when the kind of shoe started to shine. When your legs get tired, you know, I've been running them budget ones and it's down to me then just to try and finish off without fading too badly. I didn't fade, if anything, I just maintained and got a little bit quicker. And the shoes just basically just pr propelled me forward. So yeah, initial, uh, initial thoughts, feather light, super light, can barely feel them on your feet. I uh, felt a little bit of plantar on my left hand side for the first K or so. I think it's just getting a different type of shoe, a bit less um, stability obviously in it. Not great for turning, a bit wobbly on the turn, so obviously I just picked a route, any old route today, I didn't pick a, a particularly fast route, it's windy as hell, a few ups and downs, so the, the fact I ran a 19.29 on that route today is all down to the shoes, like I said I'm not really particularly fit at the minute, uh, but yeah super light, super lightweight, foam is perfect, like nice and squishy, but, but a nice little pop at the end, a nice snot, it just squishes down just enough, and then just as you start to bed down it kind of pops you back up again, which again helps you propel forward a bit quicker, my cadence, looking at the stats, my cadence is up. My heart rate isn't particularly high, which means I wasn't working as hard. And again, just off the feel, it did it did keep the perception down a little bit. So I was working. It wasn't by no means easy. Like I said, 1935 k is by no means easy, but I wasn't kind of redlining. I was just simmering below that. So it was, wasn't comfortable, but it was uncomfortably uncomfortable kind of thing. So yeah, it's all down to the shoe again. The, the foam is helping you to propel yourself a little bit uh, faster, but without as much effort. So really good shoe but yeah i'm ready to believe in all the hype now these super shoes they do have the benefits like i said the the projected five percent benefit i'm pretty sure i've just gained that today i think if i'd run that in the budget shoes the back the asics i would have been probably 30 seconds slower like i was just before christmas i got i got a dip just below 20 minutes and that was a really hard effort so i think these shoes today have probably gave me 20 25 seconds uh, which is about that five percent give or take but yeah i didn't feel the uh what they call the the kind of uh carbon kind of fingers what they call like carbon plated or nylon uh, rods sorry i didn't really perceive the rods they're obviously there they're obviously helping you to flick through and snap that foot down a bit quicker uh, but yeah it wasn't noticeable i said i got that manny little plantar under my left foot initially but that's faded away now i've had no issues with that uh, the right shoe i think is a little bit loose it moved around a little bit more i seem to work on the lacing on that but uh, there was uh, a few kind of issues with rubbing potentially from other reports i've heard in terms of the back is very a very poor uh, heel collar, not, not, not much support in the heel, uh, but I've had no issues with that whatsoever. So, yeah, no issues. I was a bit nervous about kind of the cutout on the inside of the arch, whether my foot will crash in too much. Um, but obviously, I've had no issues, hopefully, knees, knees are fine. So, yeah, wrap it up there. 
great shoe really fast shoe even my uh, recovery bits and my 2k warm up and cool down i was desperately trying to just run that on easy pace and i couldn't get any 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 much slower than 430 per k which is my kind of half marathon pace so even when you're trying to slow down it's, it's pushing you forward so like i say it's nothing but a fast shoe but it's perfect for me for this year all we're using it for is interval work pbs time trials really all the all the really fast stuff so it's perfect for that really comfortable really fast really light uh but yeah nothing really negative to say about it the laces aren't the best but they tie and they stay tied so other than that yeah wrap it away. really grippy as well i said all positives really but yeah i'll wrap it away. uh i'll continue to use this now next week i'm diving straight into my first um training block so it's going to be 10k focused it's mission 40 i'm going to try and get down to uh 40 minutes something in the 10k which for me is knocking off at least 25 seconds but obviously more than that would be better um, i'm probably going to do the time trial in these at the end of the 10k time trial so I'm quite confident quietly confident now a bit of training for eight weeks and then a blast in these but yeah wrap it there as always thank you for watching i'll see you all on the next one mm -hmm.